Okay guys, I just wanted to record this as a testimony to how fast Bricks code is when you create sites. So this is a concept site that I'm working on. I'm not ready to release it yet, it's just somewhere I want to group all of my tutorials as I create them. As you can see I've got a typical sort of a header, a typical sort of a hero. I've got a list here which is actually a loop and a jet engine custom post type. And I've got some animation here which is custom animation with some uh, CSS and JavaScript that I've created. Uh, it doesn't have GSAP. Have a look down here at the bottom in the load, fully load time. Uh, I've got network tab in Chrome Tools, cache disabled. I'm going to press the control and F5 key. 232 milliseconds, 174 milliseconds, 200, 230. Oh my goodness, this is so damn fast. Even if I scroll here, it's showing all of these images. Still, I'm still getting the same sort of results. So that's incredibly fast. Uh, GT Metrics, this is Australian hosted, so I'm testing from Sydney. GT Metrics, uh, you know, that's just really, really, really hard to beat. Now, with the optimizations, uh, let me just find it. Um, all I've done is WP Rocket, um, file optimization, nothing turned on at all. Media, just enabling my lazy loading and excluding my logo and adding missing dimensions and that is the only settings that I've set in WP Rocket so I've just enabled it turned on my lazy loading and done nothing else and with that um, we're getting you know this kind of result out of GT metrics and these kind of load speeds here from the actual site that is incredibly impressive uh, you know, it's not a site where quite often you see people put up a blank page with a few titles uh, and no graphics uh, and then show their GT metric scores. This has actually got, what have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, tutorials on there. Let's have a look at the size of these image files. So the network image. Uh, da. Zoomed in here, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can actually see this. So what do we got here? So we've got a 96k image, all these covers here, 96, 96, 96. So they're not little tiny images, they're actual, I think I've made these 700 wide so they can scale. Uh, so the 1024 wide, so I'm using the 1024 wide image. Uh, so I've got seven of those on the screen and I'm still getting this kind of on load time, fully loaded time, and it's super snappy. Uh, if I click on one of these, for example, um, bang, there it is. Back, click on another one that I just haven't looked at. So this gradient borders, bang, there it is. But the only thing that's slow is the YouTube video, uh, which is fetching from YouTube. Uh, but again, down here, 182 milliseconds unbelievable so I'm really 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 happy with the way Bricks performs really looking forward to when they release a few more features uh, one of the things that I can't do in Bricks is unless I get additional add-ons is filtering of these um, the query loop um, I'm used to using Elementor with uh, with uh, jet smart filters um, so you can put all sorts of filtering here I know you could use things like facet WP all that sort of stuff but I'd like to use what's built in and retain this kind of quality of uh, performance. So kudos to Bricks. I'm really, really impressed, and I, uh, I hope you are too. Thank you.